called conventional diamond grind and groove. That's a combination of two textures. This side here has been diamond ground, so we end up with a smooth surface, quiet, and high friction surface. But the issue is you may be concerned because it's a soft aggregate that it wears down too soon. The addition of, the addition of safety grooving on top of that provides us with a long-term surface. So it's a little more in terms of steps. It's two steps versus one. But again, that'll give you a long-term uh, surface in a soft aggregate. Next, we move over to conventional diamond grind. This is the most prevalent type of diamond grinding in the United States, around 20 yeah, feet square yards. Per year, this is a, a set of closely spaced diamond saw blades placed on a diamond grinding machine, such as that. What it does is it comes through, trims off the surface, gives you a high friction, high macro texture, safe surface, at the same time giving you a low noise surface that rides through. The next surface you see here is called the next generation concrete surface. This is the concrete industry's low noise surface. This is a, a hybrid between grinding and grooving where we use a very fine grinding machine with a special groove pattern which gives us the most quiet surface you can have on a concrete pavement known today. Lastly, we have safety grooving. If you have a situation where you have uh, high accident rates, people hydroplaning, running off the road, this does not provide any smoothness enhancement, but what this does is reduce the potential for hydroplaning and it will reduce accidents as proven by Caltrans, Caltrans up to 70% in wet weather uh, conditions. So again, very safe and cheaper than any of the other three treatments I showed you prior. Lastly, we have joint resealing. On the end here, we have a silicone joint. Here we have a hot core joint. And here we have something called neoprene joint. Neoprene being a, uh, a butyl rubber and it's pressed into the, uh, into the joint as you see here. Very effective, a little more expensive than the other treatments but all work very, very well. The intention there is to keep debris and water from entering the system and getting into the base. Lastly, we have one minute left. As I mentioned, what we have here is a diamond grinding machine. That is a PC5000B. That machine has a four foot wide cutting head. It's about 450 horsepower. There's actually two engines on it. One that drives the cutting head, which is right under the middle, and the rest that drives the vacuum that pulls up the slurry material. There's uh, about 150 of these machines located around the United States, and uh, uh, that's the tool used to create every one of these textures that you see before you. If we have a minute by the looks of things, do you have any questions?